What's up everybody, t Servers here and I'm coming back at you with another Skyrim Guide tutorial on how to get your pickpocket to 100. You can see I am here in... Alright, fucking audio save. Alright, you can see I am here in Windhelm, city of Ulfric Stormcloak and whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, Stormcloaks, yeah. Uh, you can see I'm here in Windhelm and I am a member of the Thieves Guild, but uh, this doesn't really assist me much whatsoever because I made sure that I didn't do anything for them. This is the, uh, you can see here I am on the first mission of the Thieves Guild. I haven't done anything for them whatsoever. Uh, I just went and joined them in Riften and, I, and then I came here to film the video for you guys. You can see I did just start this new character. I'm only level 6. I started this character just for the sake of this video and my pickpocket is only at 24. It w it started at 17 and I read three books to get it to 20 and I came here earlier testing out this method of how to get your pickpocket up and uh, just to get it to 24 so I can make sure it actually works well for you guys. So without uh, further ado, let's uh, jump into it. You can see here we have our lovely assistant, Zelda the Unseen. She's a beggar in Windhelm and around well, when it gets dark, she's usually out here trying to get her hands warm and whatnot at the fire. So, uh, there's not really people walking around right now, but what we're going to do anyway is we're going to skip to about 9 p.m. So, we won't have any distractions. There we go. 9 p.m. It's pretty dark. And let me put away my torch. You can see, you'll see people walking in and out of the city for a second, going home and whatnot. Uh, and there, yeah, this drunk guy is usually out here for me. I don't know why. He's just, he just seems to always be out here. Uh, been back and forth to the city, and he's just out there wasted all the damn time, I guess. So, uh, all right, streets look pretty clear. Except for the occasional guards walking by, but they shouldn't bother us, especially because they're not going to really see us. And the first thing that you guys need to do is go over to our lovely assistant, Silda the Unseen. She is going to be the one to help us get our pickpocket up. So go talk to her. It's so good to see you again. And you can see that she can train you in pickpocket, so. Up to no good, are we? I'll teach you. But it'll cost you. There you go. You can see my pickpocket level is 24, and I was trying this earlier to make sure it worked for you guys. So, I'm going to give her 290 septums. A divine smile on a charitable soul. And uh, don't quote me on this because I'm not entirely sure whether this is true or not, but I believe pickpocketing works on how you go up on the amount of items that the person is holding. A few septums for my she's not actually talking to us, she's just high, don't worry. Uh, so, you can see that this is a huge chance game that we're playing for a little bit, uh, but that will go up from 76% to steal. Uh, so, we have most of the, uh, you know, the odds are mostly on our side to get a successful steal at 76, but there's still a chance that we will get caught. So let's see if we'll get caught or not. Okay, we did not. Good, so you can see that we went up from 25 to 27, so this is an extremely good way to get your pickpocket up. It, it continues to do that pretty much the entire way till you reach around maybe... Actually, I can't even say that. Uh, as you're pickpocketing I people totally for their money, pretty much, because you can get trained by plenty of people in Skyrim, so you can get your pickpocket up from plenty, I mean, uh, yeah, you can get your pickpocket up from plenty of people, and you don't necessarily have to also get your pickpocket and train for your pickpocket to take your money back, because your pickpocket will increase, but this is just an even faster way to do so, so I decided to come here for the sake of the video, and there you go, what you want to do now is get trained by her again. Now, she is technically carrying 320 items now. I just gave her 20, 320 gold, and you can see that she is technically carrying 320 items. That's why our pickpocket is going up so fast, because we're stealing so much from her at once. 
Uh, but remember this is a chance game and we just got a successful steal so what you want to do now or at least what I want to do now so things go as planned I'm just gonna make a new save there you go uh, now gonna see if she catches us this time she did not we just went up from 28 to 30 28 to 30 you can see that we're going up by two every time we steal from her and it will be doing that pretty much the entire way we go through because the more uh, the more you get trained by her the more money you're giving her so the more Nervous items you're that. giving her especially up to no good are we the I'll more items you. you are giving her so you. we're about to give her technically 350 items like that and now Just wait for her to turn back around. Save your progress so you don't lose any of your progress. It is a highly recommended that you save your progress every time you get a successful steal. So you don't have to go back two or three or so. There's someone walking out of the city. Just wait for them to walk past. And no one else should be bothering us. So. Alright. We saved our progress. Remember we are playing a chance game. And we have a 76% chance to steal successfully from her. So. And it works again, so it, we just went up from, uh, I believe we just went up from 31 to 34, I, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I wasn't looking when I just paid her. Uh, I ask only but yeah, you can charity. see we're going up even more and more because we're giving her more and more items to steal from her. So, save your progress once again. <clears throat> And the next step to it is Up talk to, to no her. Good, are we? I'll teach you. It'll cost you. But yeah, whatever. I don't you. care. All right. You can see that we can only get trained five times per level. So that means now you're going to see up there. It you must level up to train more. So what we're going to do is we already leveled up. So I'll just throw it down. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Uh, and we are almost to 40 where pickpocketing gold will be 50 percent easier so it'll pretty much be an instant steal every time we steal from her uh it'll get e easier and easier and yeah you'll also go up more and more so well, now now we've leveled up spare a coin up to no good are we i'll teach you but it'll cost now you we can get trained by her five more times. I do not recommend pressing it multiple times and giving her an assload of money because there are there is a such thing as stealing too many items from her at once. It, it gets harder and harder the more you steal from her. That's why we're trying to get it to 40 so it doesn't get too hard. So uh, by the time you get this to around... Spare a few coins to help someone wait for her to stop talking. By the time you get this to around 80 or so, you will be able to steal maybe like 2,000 gold from her. When you get it to 100, you'll be able to steal about 4,000 gold from her or so. so uh, or from anyone, because this works just about on anyone else. And I am going to make a higher tutorial video on how to get your pickpocket uh, up. Well, not pickpocket up, but how to get any skill up. Not all the way up to mastery, but pretty far up. Uh... On pretty much anything you want you want to learn in destruction go do the same method with a destruction person at the College of Winterhold or whoever else teaches you destruction uh, you want to go up in smithing which a lot of people do since they did patch the iron dagger glitch uh, where it was extremely easy to get your smithing up by making an ass load of iron daggers that doesn't work anymore so uh, it takes much longer now um, so this is another way. Go to Yerlin, Yerlin Greymane and White and White Run, and give them money. Then steal it back from them. Your pickpocket will go all the way up if uh, if you don't have it to 100 yet. And uh, yeah, it you'll be able to get pretty far in uh, you know in your smithing. I, I know at least it will at least get you to Ebony or around 
it'll get you about to uh, 85 before it gets really, really hard to steal from them. But you can always steal successfully from them. Just remember this. Uh, the chancels will just get uh, harder, so it'll go from like a 90% chance to steal to a 70% ch uh, chance to steal to a 50% chance to steal. But even a 50% chance to steal is still good because there's still a chance that you, you know, you're just, it's totting back and forth pretty much so uh there's always a chance that you'll be able to steal successfully from them so i don't know if we saved our progress let me go ahead and save real fast so we don't lose any of our progress and there you go we just went up to 37 i'm not entirely sure what we were at before i believe we were at uh 35 yeah we were at 35 we went up to 37 that time so uh Go ahead, talk to her one more time. Yes. Up to no good, are we? I'll teach you. There you go. Uh, we only need to steal from her successfully one more time before it gets really, really, really easy to steal from her. Uh, so, let me show you. And... Okay, that time I moved too fast. <laughs> that was my fault. Let me go ahead and load up the game. So, there you go. You now see what happens when she actually catches you, she gets pissed at you, tries to kill you, the guards come running, and, you know, yeah, they try to throw you in jail or try to kill you. That's why you just load up your progress so you don't lose uh, where you were at. So let's just go ahead and take that back. And... I hope the wind up to no Once again, good, we only we? need to steal from her one more time before I'll it gets ex extremely easy to steal you. gold from her. Let her go ahead and turn around. Let me save my progress so I don't have to do that again. If I get caught, probably will, probably won't. That was just a the slight chance of me getting caught that I just showed you. And there you go. We are now at 40. So 40, you can see we also just leveled up. Uh, usually you don't want to level up until you've done all Nervous. five of the up trainings. No good, you don't we? want to level up until you've done all five I'll of the trainings, but for the sake of the video so it doesn't take too long to explain this to you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and level up now. So, stand up, whatever. Uh, and then go up here, park down right there, but you want to get to this. Uh, the requirement is 40. Pickpocketing gold is 50% easier. So, put that down on there. Go talk to her. E up to no good, are we? 450 septums. I'll so she's carrying 450 you. items. And let her go ahead and turn around. Drunk guy still won't bother us. He doesn't give a shit. And there you go. It's it's jumped from 76 to 90% chance to steal. So just instant steal pretty much every time. Remember, there's still a 10% chance that you can get caught because you can't ever get your uh, steal all the way to 100% ever i don't know why it just doesn't work that way uh it just always stops at 90 percent because i i guess a few septums for my i guess it's fair because uh you know it would be just extremely op to steal from them 100 percent every goddamn time so it, i guess it's fair it works hmm? up to no good are we i'm not going to go all the I'll way up to 100 for uh this video you guys just you know go ahead try this out yourselves it works extremely well you can see it here and uh, we're just going to steal from her one more time. And stop talking to me. Turn around, please. There you go. Go up to her. Instant steal every time. You can see we're nearly to 50, so hell, let's just go to 50. And I'll stop the video there. Save your progress so you don't lose any. Still a 10% chance that we up can fail. No good, are we? But most likely we won't. I'll teach you. You can see we also just leveled up again, so this is also an extremely effective way to level up as well. I ask only for Steal from her. There you go. Charity. Uh we only need a need some up to no good, are we? Fifty. You see, we're now I'll at fifty, you. so we are We are at fifty. We are halfway in what, like 10 minutes or so, 12 minutes or so, I'm not sure how long the video is going on. Oh, it's been 14 minutes, so you can see in 14 minutes, I've got halfway to 100. So you, you see this, guys, it doesn't take long at all. It'll take you about maybe 30 to 40 minutes to get your pickpocket all the way up to 100. And remember, I will be making a new tutorial video to show you how to get your skill up on any skill in the game, pretty much, because all these skills 
there is someone that teaches you something for all of these skills. Uh, the, I, all of the magic, all of the magic, you can go to the College of Wonderhold, there's someone there for every bit of the magic. Uh, even enchanting. For smithing, go to Euron Greymain. You can go to one of the companion members or anyone else around Skyrim or anywhere to get blocking heavy armor. And pretty much all of these skills on here are taught by someone. So you can use this method to level up and to get your skill up on just about every single, uh, you know, every single skill in the game. So that's the tutorial, guys. I hope this, I hope this helps. Uh, if it does help, please leave a like on the video that, you know, that lets me know that, oh, thanks. Yeah, you help me out. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> so if I help you out at all, please leave a like on the video. Also, uh, leave a comment as well, please, telling me what you think you, that I can improve on in my videos. Uh, one thing, uh, you guys can tell that my Dark Elf is not extremely fucking ugly. I just know how to make a pretty damn good Dark Elf, so... <laughs> I'm not on PC, this is on Xbox, just pointing that out there. there there's no mods involved or anything, so... Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please leave a comment on what you guys think I can improve on because, as you can see, this is one of my first videos on this channel. Uh, my first time actually working on my own personal channel for myself. So it'd be much appreciated if you guys can leave a comment on what you guys think I can improve on and subscribe for more future tutorials and more content being put up on this uh, channel. So, yeah, thanks for watching.